Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Itadaki Mas. I am Chad. Yes, you are. I am Justin. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and today uh, we're going to review some Japanese cheese. Is that what we're doing? Yes, what cheese. Doing? Japanese cheese. All right, this is cheesy. Uh, grab the cheese. <laughs> 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 All right, so. This is, yeah, so cheese in a bag and Spartacus is going bonkers. Does it smell like cheese for a He really wants some cheese. Mm, it does smell like cheese. It smells pretty good, actually. I didn't expect that. It smells like uh, mozzarella. Kind of. It's a lot more mild than I thought this yeah, was going to smell. grab one here? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> here, you grab one. Yeah, so this is... Dried cheese sticks in a bag. Yeah, like dried cheese. So, it's got kind of a hard outside, but the inside looks softish. So. Softish. Yes. That's a pretty good definition of what we're looking at here. So we're gonna know what kind of cheese this is. Um, there's like a lot of me. there's a lot of weird cheeses in Japan. Uh, lots of cheese mixed with other weird things. And I think this is just cheese. I kind of hope so. <laughs> but since we can't read anything on the bag except for basically cheese, right? And a lot of kanji. Let's try it. Eat the grass. What a weird texture. Uh, really rubbery on the outside. Um, yeah, it's pretty mild. Yeah, it's very mild. It probably is like a mozzarella type of cheese. I I do not like that rubbery texture. Though. Yeah. Texture is really important to cheese, as a matter of fact. As far as cheeses go, it's not my favorite. Um, it's really like a mild, um, milky type of cheese. Yeah. And yeah, it's just the rubbery outside of it. Yeah, the flavor is pretty good, but man, that texture. So I think it's pure uh, cheese. It's... I don't think it's mixed with anything. No, I don't think so. And, um, but it's almost like gummy cheese. Yeah. I wouldn't hate to like sit there and be drunk eating this, I guess. I would not eat it. No? And this is sitting there next to like the beer nuts and like the beef jerkies and stuff. So I assume this is kind of a drinking food or like a party thing. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe it'd be better with like crackers and stuff. Yeah, but I just don't think you're going to get over the... I guess you could peel the rubbery parts off. It kind of looks like it's layered almost. So you could probably peel the rubbery part off. And then the yummy part in the middle would be okay. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I bet the dogs would love it though. They would go crazy for some cheese. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a meh. Um, it's another one of those things that's in a category with so many good stuff, so many good cheeses. I gotta look at that cheese. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want that cheese. And she's getting up here too. I want that cheese. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so good to be a human. <laughs> Sucks to be you, dog. So, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna give this a meh. Definitely, it's a solid meh because it doesn't taste bad. It's just. A really weird texture and and there's really yeah. no novelty behind it except that I don't I've never seen dried packaged cheese in America um, yeah. so it's a little bit different than maybe you can get where we're from but it's not delicious it's not surprisingly it's not funny there's nothing great about it it's just a dry cheese so. I have no recommend on this one no, it's cheese but it's a man and it's not a recommended item number two this this one looks scary. Is another <laughs> dried, or not dried, but it's not refrigerated. How about that? This was hanging on a shelf with all kinds of like fish paste in tubes, and I think that's the same thing. I think that's what this is. So <laughs> we're probably not going to enjoy this one. But it's cheese. From what right. we can see, yeah, it says cheddar cheese. Uh, cheddar cheese. Uh, something. Chakua. Some hitori chakua or something like that. I don't know what that means. But, um, let's just do it, let's try it, so, yeah. let's open it, let's do it. it looks very gelatinous, oh wow, so probably a meat product, <laughs> here, <laughs> oh it's all yours, Chad's going to be reviewing this one by himself, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a fish product, it's been a while since we did a fish thing, <laughs> This is a real fishy fish thing. thing. Um, and it actually looks like it's one bar, oh, like a candy bar, so we're going to have to break it off. I don't want to get my fingers all soaked with fish juice. Alright. Oh. Yeah, oh wow. So real fishy smell, right off the oh, bat. Oh my goodness. Very gelatinous, like... Consistency. Is... Yeah. It's sticky and rubbery. Oh man. 
I don't know what's on the outside of this. I'm smells, assuming it's like a fish paste. This smells like wet cat food. Yeah. Yeah, wet, oh man. <laughs> like wet fish plus yeah. cat food. This is not smell good. <laughs> so, I'm... With cheddar! Yay! <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, this is going to be exciting. So we live for it here. Yeah. Um, are we trying to get this down or are we going to spit? What do you think? I'm going spit to, or swallow? I'm going to take a, b a half bite of mm -hmm. this. I'll do the same. Start chewing and then we'll see what happens after that. I'm going to try real hard to get it down because I'm normally the worst. I'm going to try to get this down. I don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, alright. Experiment, go! Either like Eat the boss. Oh, wow. Mm. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> My normal matter here. Mm. I didn't say I wouldn't drink that. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ugh. That was nasty. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> All right. That was terrible. Nasty. That was exactly what I thought it was gonna taste like. What is this? Why? Why would somebody eat this? <laughs> it's like chewing on rubber. The consistency is really, really bouncy and chewy. Kind of like a hard-boiled egg. Or yeah, like a really hard-boiled egg. Ugh. The stink just travels through um, your tongue like a taste, and and it tastes like fish scales. Yeah. I didn't. Did you notice cheese at all? No. No. Me neither. I could taste like the. The texture difference of the creamy cheese, but it was not strong enough to overpower that hardcore from the sea taste. So, yeah, that was pretty wow. hardcore. <laughs> uh, what little cheese there was in there, I don't even think that could qualify as a part of the cheese. I don't know. I category. I can't say I can recommend this because it is nasty. It's not anything to try for fun. If you were drunk, it would make you puke. Yes. That is correct. <laughs> that is a correct assessment. Do not like, do not recommend, unless you love the taste of like fish scales. Like my dog would love this. Yeah. I don't know what was around that thing. It could have been anything, like squid or fish, whatever it was. Fish byproducts, just like put into a candy bar, <laughs> a cheese candy bar. I feel like my life has changed. <laughs> I'm no longer the same person that I was. <laughs> it's a life-altering experience. You are what you eat, so mm -hmm. you say some something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after number two, there's no way this can go but better. It's, we think. Hey, I, no, it's impossible to get worse than that, that second one, I think. That was pretty bad. <laughs> it's, it's up there on the list. <laughs> yeah. of, Weird Japanese stuff we've tried that's not good. Yeah, that, that, that shouldn't be sold to the public. There should be some, <laughs> kind, of, some kind of warning to that. So this is another one that looks weird, right? Yeah, so this is a little piece of cheese that's inside of like a candy wrapper. Which is funny because it's called candy cheese. Yep, and it's called candy cheese pepper. So there are tiny dots in this cheese. I hope it's all just pepper and not any weird fishy stuff. I'm hoping I'm smelling my fingers and not the cheese. Oh, yeah, I smell that too. It's probably on our hands. I'm, I'm hoping it's just my fingers. I can smell <laughs> pepper, so I think the cheese probably smells like pepper, but my fingers smell like crap. We're gonna have right. to take showers after this for a little bit. Like decontamination. Yeah, that, one, that one was just no good. <laughs> so this is just a firm little chunk of cheese with obviously a large yeah. amount of black pepper in it, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Oh, it's actually cut. There. Mine's cut in half. I don't know if that's just mine. Oh, really? Maybe mine just Maybe broke. Maybe you tore it in half. Oh, yeah, I guess it does. But doesn't so in case you don't want to eat, like, the whole, whole piece or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah, so I guess we'll find out, right? I'm going to do the whole thing because I'm not scared of Like you said, it can't be worse. Uh, okay. I'm not scared right. of this one. Whole one, then. Eat the document. Oh, my fingers. Keep them away from my fish. Huh. Oh, that's a strong pepper flavor. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, we really needed this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. So, I can't really taste the cheese. Really? It's an overpowering pepper. pepper. 
That's true. The cheese um, texture, it's not nearly as creamy as I thought it was going to be. It's really kind of like a crumbly, dry cheese. Yeah, no thanks. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. It, it pretty much tastes like pepper, so... Man, I just... I could see eating these things with something else. Mm -hmm. On a cracker or something. They're good. Or with dinner. Oh, okay. <laughs> like some green beans and... Pepper cheese? No, pepper cheese. But Again, we don't know if, I mean, I'm assuming you're supposed to eat these individually because it's called candy cheese and they're in like... Yeah, they're individual packages. things. Yeah. Maybe you're supposed to cook with them, I don't know. But... I doubt it. I, I, I'm sure you're supposed to just eat them. But, these, um, I'm going to give um, these a thumbs up because I like pepper a lot and it tastes like pepper. <laughs> yeah, very strong with pepper. I don't know if I'd give this a thumbs up, but it's not a thumbs down. <laughs> mm, that's something, right? Yeah, for me, thumbs up all the way, recommend. Um, pretty unique. I don't know about any pepper cheeses in the States, although it was not like a I kind of sort of cheese awesome. when I was in the States, but I would definitely like I could sit and eat these and drink beer and I'd be through this whole package before I knew it was over. That'd be quick. Pretty yeah, good. if I was already drunk, yeah, maybe it'd be pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm, probably. But I can't imagine just munching on these things of pepper cheese. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> Munch on my yeah, I think they do have uh, some pretty good cheese snacks. Like one of my favorites is like slices of smoked cheese yeah. that's sold mm. with like slices of sausage or pepperoni or something and slap those babies together and man it is good stuff. Yeah, and they also have some little like it's sold in a round box and they're like um, cheese wedge shaped cheeses like pizza shaped cheeses, pizza slices and uh, those are really good. I mean there's yeah. different kinds and I've gotten some that I didn't love but usually all of those are real good. Yeah. So overall uh, I don't know I, this third one I would say recommend thumbs up you say meh. I'd say uh, it's, it's pretty meh in my books. Uh, have way better cheese products than than what we've had today but <laughs> I, I can't even say that we won three out of three because that middle one even though it said cheddar cheese on it there was no evidence of any cheddar cheese in that thing there was like a big blob of orange cheese in the middle that we could see there was a blob of orange something whether or not it was cheese <laughs> we have to get out some food experts to figure that one out uh, but nevertheless, we did three, Woo and two of them were halfway decent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks for watching another episode of Itadakimasu, where we had some weird Japanese che cheese. Cheese. And uh, stay tuned for next week when we try some yummy but strange Japanese drinks. We yes. Hope yummy. I don't know where can we guess. So I imagine yummy. They're gonna be in the yummy drink aisle. Uh huh. So, yep, looking forward to it. Yeah. So, until next week, sign up.